If you can see it here and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. A lot of times people believe in certain things but they keep to themselves. They don't put it out there. Truly believe in it. If you become vocal with it, you are creating that law of attraction and it will <clears throat> become reality. What's going on everybody welcome back to the first video of 2024 so if you guys haven't gone and watched um, the Indian Wells 70.3 video I just raced Indian Wells a little oh, yeah today's January 4th it's a Thursday um, raced it just a little over a month ago now and yeah I mean just a little update for you guys so obviously J December's been pretty chill like it's been such a long crazy year of being go 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 just with training obviously just trying to create content and balance life and do everything like it's just been a super busy year and i'm super grateful for kind of like all the growth that happened and obviously for 2024 i got some big goals as well so i kind of took um december the new year as like a little bit of a reset period for me just because i haven't really um, took in one this past year just with kind of all the races that I've signed up for it's just kind of been back to back to back to back um, but yeah no so kind of this is my first kind of week back into routine and like I said it's Thursday I'm just coming off of two days of higher intensity training today is kind of like a LT1 or very easy aerobic day but I do have a quality swim this morning but no so I did 3,000 meters of course I keep my Strava and yards just because I prefer miles um, on the bike and stuff like that but 3,000 meters or 3281 yards average pace was 126 per 100 yards and yeah it was just basically 50s and 100s um, so I would do 10 strong 50s followed by five moderate 100s repeat that twice um, and then I had a little warm-up and cool down in there as well and this absolutely fried me definitely felt really good to swim hard again I've kind of just been lollygagging in the pool since Indian Wells so nice to kind of I guess get some um, because for me, this is like pretty fast. Get some speed work in and no, felt good. And now I'm just gonna go. We got a bike ride to do today and a run, so I'll take you guys through that. So I know I didn't talk much um, over the training this morning because that's not why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to make this video to talk to you guys about um, my goals and everything like that coming up for 2024. So let's go. I'll be at my apartment in a bit and I'll sit down and talk to you guys. Um, but no, uh, just an easy run off the bike, like a 901 uh, minute per mile pace. Heart rate was like 139. Um, yeah, I'm really fine. All right, so now to the main part of this video that I really wanted to go over with you guys. Basically, just all my goals for this upcoming year. I mean, last year, 2023, was just like, I mean, even just to reflect back on it, it was pretty crazy Like to think I just kind of jumped in, did Ironman Texas with just a, kind of a few months of training right after I did my first marathon. Um, did relatively well at it, then went into another couple months of training, did Ironman Victoria, had lots of fun doing that one. And then obviously doing the full in Lake Placid, which was super, super cool before going into like this, just this huge block of training. Um, cause I really wanted to end the year and just, just see how fast I could go in a 70.3. And no, I mean, big PR in Indian Wells. It was a, like one of the coolest days of my life, to be honest. Um, so yeah. I mean, 2023 was just like a good year all around. I was super 
I mean, I'm grateful, happy that it all happened, happy I kind of made the decision to do all this stuff. And obviously now taking a look at um, 2024, there's obviously goals that I've kind of set for myself because I just feel like if you want to do anything, I mean, I'm a big believer and obviously don't just say you're going to do something, like make sure you follow with action. You're not just someone who, because anybody can go out and say, oh, I'm going to run a marathon this year. I'm going to do an Ironman this year, or I'm going to do a 70.3, but it's a whole nother thing to actually like put in the work and to do it. And I don't want you to get the two things confused. And like everything I have put on this list are things that I like genuinely am going to put a solid amount of effort into. Um, this upcoming year and I mean I'll start off with just kind of going over the races that I kind of have planned so far these are kind of like the big races that I'm going to base this whole kind of upcoming year around so first one being May 11th Gulf Coast 70.3 so that one is in Panama City Beach Florida um, so I'll be flying over to that one. It'll be the first race I've ever flown to. If you guys have watched all my race videos, I've literally drove to every single Ironman that I've done so far. So I need to buy a bike case. So I'll be flying to Gulf Coast. And then two weeks later, May 26th, I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm doing another 70.3 um, in the Victoria, British Columbia. This one's more or less just kind of for fun. I did it last year. I'm just gonna honestly go out, P, like hopefully PR and just enjoy it. Beautiful course um, in Victoria. I mean, it's in Canada, so it's not super far for me to go to. And I think just the more I race, the more experience I get, I feel like with kind of my main goal being obviously um, New Zealand, because you guys didn't see Indian Wells video I did qualify for world champs for age group racing um, in New Zealand for yeah. December 15th 2024 um, so yeah I mean I just want to race as much as I can obviously train as well good and as well as I can um, and yeah so I'm going to be doing Victoria um, on May 26th like I said love that course and then it, about two months later at the end of july the city i live in actually here calgary alberta they have um an ironman 70.3 that they put on so i really want to do that race and i would just I, I mean i would love to like podium in my age group at a race and i feel like Calgary's my best shot just because it is a bit of a more quiet race and then obviously the last big race i have kind of planned so far is um new zealand december 15th of 2024 and that's the 70.3 world champs and i don't just want to go to the world champs like i know um with qualifying like it's not the hardest thing in the world to qualify and in no way shape or form am i discrediting myself like i understand like if you qualify i mean you have to be in the top whatever percent of your age group it's super cool not everybody can do it so i'm just very grateful that i did qualify but in the same breath, I know that like the standard of the racing, even in my age group, is just so high at a caliber of race like that one that like I'm gonna have to really work on a lot of things because I don't just wanna go there and participate. Like I wanna go there and really show obviously I'm not going to win. I'm not gonna win the goddamn thing, but just go and like go as fast as I can. I mean, it's not even about like beating other people. It's just go train, have a really good year and just see how fit and how much improvement I can make over the course of the next 12 months. Um, and yeah, those are kind of my four big races for this upcoming year in terms of triathlon. I think there might be a couple like little Olympics that I might do just for fun. Um, maybe another 70.3, but no fulls for this year. I kind of made a list here of other goals that I've set for myself as well. So number one being, I mean, I've been absolutely brutal with this YouTube channel. I do want to try to put out three videos a month. If there's anything on this list that I don't probably hold true to my word it's going to be this one just because i do have other things that i prioritize in my life i don't know we'll see how that one goes but i'm really going to try to put out three videos a month just because i obviously love creating this style of content i feel like it just lets me kind of show you guys a bit more insight into who i am and the things i'm doing and all that good stuff the next one is prioritize sleep because this is something i quite frankly absolutely suck at um, I would be lying if I said that recovery and just 
that whole ballpark of things, I'm just not like with everything I have going on, it's become very difficult to prioritize that because I have so many other things kind of on the go that it's definitely been something that's lacked this past year. And I just know if I want to stay healthy, I want to stay injury free, I want to continue to do this long term, I need to focus on recovery, focus on sleep and everything like that just to make sure that I, like I said, don't get injured. And then next on the list, I put down to get top two at a 70.3 event in my age group. So obviously that's the 18 to 24 age group. I would love to place top two. Again, very ambitious goal. I'm all about setting ambitious goals, but I mean, yeah, I'm gonna put in the work. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. If it happens, it happens. That would be pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I mean, the last even note I put down there was just kind of going back to what I said before about 70.3 worlds is just spend this whole year with the sole focus of just building towards that race in December and just overall just gaining more race experience. I feel like every race I've done, I've like learned something new about like whether it was fueling, whether it was nutrition, whether it was like, oh, well, maybe I could have worked on this more in training, that kind of thing. Like you just pick up on little things every race you do. I feel like, and um, no, I'm just, I'm really excited for this year, get back into training, get back into just a, a groove and a rhythm, and um, yeah, no, these videos are going to be a lot more just kind of like vlog style, basically me holding camera, training, taking you through my day, that kind of thing, um, nothing super crazy, I might throw maybe a dope video in here and there, but I mean, no, the reason why I wanted to create this channel in this in the first place was to kind of just like show my life and show everything that I'm doing. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, comment if you guys have any questions or anything like that or shoot me a DM on Instagram. I mean, I respond to all my DMs. So if you have any questions, DM me on Instagram. If you have any things that you want me to make a video about, DM me on Instagram because I'm going to need a lot of ideas because it's YouTube's hard. For anybody who hasn't done YouTube, YouTube is very hard. The editing, all the whatever. <sighs> but yeah, that's it for this one. Kind of a lame video, but we'll see you guys in the next one.